Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to answer this question. Sometime when you execute your SSIS package, you get an error. File is used by another processor. Why did you get this error and how can you avoid this error? So th this is very, very common error when we are uh, working on SSIS packages and we often get this message. So there are a couple of scenarios. I'm going to explain that first thing when somebody has opened that file. Let's say you have you are using a share folder and you are reading Excel uh, file and uh, somebody went there and they're making a modification or maybe they are just reading the data and your package is also going to read the same file uh, from the, that shared location. So th that's where you will get this error. Uh, you will tr keep trying, you know, maybe a couple of time and see who, when there is nobody who opened the file and all those kind of thing. But uh, there would be some user or your colleague he already has opened that file, maybe making modification and all that. So uh, you need to take care of that part. So if you are using shared location, make sure the people are not using those files. Once they put that file there, they, they should not be using it because it should be uh, used by SSIS package to load the data. Second part, uh, you, you read the file uh, from some folder and um, assume that this is an, an, an Excel file and uh, you read it and uh, what you are doing you are reading uh, your, this Excel file by using the execute uh, sorry scripted task so you um, use different uh, Excel API's and you open the file and uh, you are you reading the file and then uh, you you totally forgot in the code you never put the close uh, uh, file uh, uh, function so you never close the file there so what is going to happen if you will uh, try to archive that file after that uh, script task uh, you will be keep getting this error file is being used by another process because the file is still open and uh, you are trying to do it uh, uh, you are trying to move the file so that's uh, another option uh, most of the time what I feel like uh, th this is more common issue with the Excel file and uh, if you have a file uh, uh, that is a CSV or a, that, that's a text file you might be able to read the file but still if the file is open and you will try to archive that file you will get this error but uh, try to avoid this uh, errors uh, make sure nobody has um, even read permissions uh, once the files are put on those uh, locations from where you, your packages read the file second part uh, always remember if you are in the scripting or even in the SSIS package uh, um, close the file uh, by using proper uh, uh, functions um, in, in, in the script task and uh, you don't want to use uh, uh, multiple packages uh, one is uh, reading the file and the other is trying to archive that file so if that's the scenario as well so you need to uh, schedule your packages in a way so the first package once the first is completed then the second should run the same same goes with the package itself uh, you in the if you are trying to have a uh, uh, parallel tasks uh, one is loading the file another is trying to archive you don't want to do that so uh, you have want to have them in sequence so first one load the file second one uh, move the file from uh, input to the archive folder so uh, these are the different scenarios um, and uh, that's it for this uh, question and I will see you guys in next uh, video.